How's it going everyone? Welcome back to more Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. So we just finished off the asteroid uh, missions. So I think... I don't think there's any point in going to any of these planets right now. I think we want to leave. Liara's dig site. She go get Liara. Athens, Sparta. It's great. Let's do it. Somewhere in the Artemis. Oh, so we don't actually know where. Okay. Oh, we can actually go to some of them. surface it looks like an automated distress beacon okay um hey talia and ashley Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's so difficult to find who's take on missions, man. Point of interest right there. Oh, the asteroids. I swear we finally are in a snow planet. I could be thinking of the wrong game though. Whoa! Oh my god. How the hell do you take that out? Feels like that was impossible to avoid. I dodge its attacks. What? We got this, don't worry. I'm an expert. I'm a professional at this, do not worry. 
It's the steering, man. I hate the mouse steering as well as the thing. Because it's like you got to point your turret, but you go towards what you point your turret at. It's just it's backwards. Ah. There we go. That's a game changer. Watch how easier this will be now. Ready? How the fuck do you avoid that? You can't. We're literally one hit away from being out. Fuck. Might just run for it for now. I don't get how to avoid that. There's no technique for avoiding that. It's just hope. Because he sprays into the way that you're going. Try again. Oh. Didn't realize I had that. Okay, this could be a game changer. Got him. Oh no, he didn't. Now we got him. Perfect. Heading to position. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Then picked off by that thing. These are Admiral Kahoku's men. We need to tell him what happened here. Okay. That was a lot easier. Fleming didn't realize I had a gigantic ass cannon thing. I just thought it was a little machine gun on top. God damn it.
Oh. Captain Mina's identification. I don't know if that's the Normandy or if that is something else. Anyway, let's see what's up here. See what this is. Wherever it is, it's up on this cliff. Here we go. Can I get my electronics up? I probably have some points. What? Here we go. That's it. Right, return to Normandy. Nothing on that planet. Nothing majorly important. There was stuff on it, clearly. Okay. Try this one instead. Oh. I'm going to look around. See if that's the only one. Okay. Aaron. See what we got on this planet. Okay. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Well, I guess that's where we're heading then. It's quite a strange planet. <laughs> Didn't realize we had landed on Mustafa. Hmm. 
Let me just follow this all the way around pretty much. Give me something on this planet for us to do this journey. Has to be. Whoa. What the? F what is that? Oh, the geth are here. Oh. Well, they've got to be here for something. Only a fool punches a Nathak in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Is enough that Take him out. Perimeter clear. Wrong, it's not. There's a guy in here. At least I thought there was. Thought so. All targets down. My people have searched many generations for a world to call home. If we landed here, we just keep searching. <laughs> Basically, she's saying it's a giant shithole. In a nicer way. Really? Let me go up there and don't put anything up there. That's rude. I wonder why the geth are here, man.
Dropping more off. Right, in we go. There's a base over there. Something here as well. Oh, there's anything. Right, hello, it's his base then. Oh, is it a tunnel? A tunnel. Oh, guess we're getting out. We got him. What we got? Keep moving guys. Oh here's big base. Go get Liara. I think this is where she is. I don't know why I'm thinking of an ice planet though. Oh, I'm thinking of blooming the last Jedi game that came out. Fallen Jedi, Fallen Order, Fallen Order. What is that? Oh shit.
guys. How the fuck am I going to survive this? Let's see, let's see what we got. Nothing yet. Um, The shields are down. How the fuck did I survive that? How the hell am I still alive? deployed clear well done guys well done okay middle deployed what do we go in here Big place. Containment cell. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. Hmm.
Daryl White. Protheans sure build things home. Oh, we get down again. Yeah, we can see anything down there. Oh, we do see a little some ruins. Yara. Could somebody help me? Please. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Liara to Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. Let's go, people. Got it. We're well, supposed to get down that way, but I'm just curious as to what else is up here. Okay. Head on down. When we get back to the Normandy and stuff, we'll um, I need to listen to quite a few codexes, but things heating up a wee bit now, so I don't want to interrupt the flow. You know, this is where we need to turn it off. Maybe not. Maybe the Krogan. Nope. the barrier we have to get you out of here before more geth arrive yes you're right i've seen enough of them to last a lifetime that button should shut down my containment field not so fast shepherd you sure she's on our side her mother's working with sarah i am not my mother i don't even i don't know why benezia joined sarah i don't want anything to do with that turian bastard i believe her. if she was with sarah the geth wouldn't be trying to kill her There you go. Any idea how we get out of this place? 
There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. Uh oh. What the hell Beam us up, Scotty. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> Hmm. Like a fight to me. There's the crow gun. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Not a Whatever chance. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not a wave. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not, doesn't matter. Let's see. Get him. Okay. Oh shit, we need to get out. Joker bear, be ready. Made it. There's the Normandy. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. 
What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Huh. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. Um. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hmm. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. The Reapers. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, she can say Reapers. Then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Okay. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. Hmm. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh. I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Not yet. Don't bother. Aye, aye, sir. Cool. Right, let's, at the end of this, before we end the thing, let's have a look at some of these. I don't want to read those secondary ones right now. In the early 
2160s. After the Geths, Thresher Moths are subterranean carnivores that spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers we produce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, Thresher spores appear on many worlds, spread by previous generations of space travelers. The body of a thresher never entirely leaves the ground. Only the head and tentacles erupt from the Earth to attack. In addition to physical attacks, threshers have the ability to project toxic chemicals and emit bursts of infrasound as a shockwave weapon. The Alliance first encountered threshers on the colony of Akuz in 2177. After contact was lost with the Pioneer team, Marine units were deployed to investigate. The shore parties were set upon by hungry threshers. Damn. Nearly the entire assault force was killed. Alliance forces recommend engaging threshers with vehicle-mounted heavy weapons. Okay. The Citadel is an ancient... Humanity... Pharos is a habitable world. I don't know which ones we haven't read. We'll just play it by ear from now on. We'll read them. Anyway, guys, we'll leave things here for now. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Most importantly, go and have yourselves a beautiful day and bye-bye.